what is local hand-to-hand -hand combat and how can you use it in your mortgage business I'm Nick Carpenter welcome back so the other day I was listening to a Gary Vaynerchuk video where um, people that bought his uh, VFriends, the NFTs back in the early days, um, one of the options there was to get on a mastermind with him once a month. You get to ask one question. So I'd just like to tune into that because it's kind of interesting, you know, the questions people ask and the advice he gives sometimes. And so there was a guy on there, he was opening a local um, franchise food place. I'm guessing it was probably like... Um, you know, uh, like a sub sandwich place, like a Jimmy John's or something like that. They they blur they bleep out the name so that you don't know exactly what it is. But their whole point was they're moving into a strip center. They're opening in about 60 days. What should they be doing to get a lot of um, business whenever they actually open? And so um, the advice was around local hand to hand combat and how they should be going out giving out free food and some of these things. And the other day I was talking to one of my you know kind of VIP clients. And uh, we were talking about how he is hiring his um, daughter to work for him now. She just graduated high school, and so she's going to be working for him part-time about four hours a day. And basically how he's like looking for stuff for her to do, right? So we, I brought up this idea of the local hand-to-hand -hand combat as a strategy, and I wanted to share with you here because maybe somebody else has a kid or you know, uh, an assistant or can hire somebody locally that can go do this strategy pretty cheap. But it's a way that you can drum up a pretty good amount of business. And the, the concept is going into local businesses and ask them if they have an employee benefits program. And most businesses are going to have some type of employee benefits program, right? Um, very rarely will you find one that just has nothing for their employees, but even even if they don't, that's cool. We can start one, right? Um, and so if they have one, you want to ask, um, do they have a mortgage and realtor? Um, do they have a mortgage advisor? Do they have a realtor? Um, do they have a home inspector? Those type of people as part of that employee package to help their employees get the best deal um, you know, from local service providers whenever they're ready to buy or sell a house. And most companies do not have anything like that at all, right? So that's where you can come in and be of value. And so they can, um, you know, in the case of this guy that I talked to, he's going to have his daughter go into local businesses and basically ask that question. Hey, I'm with XYZ Mortgage Company. You know, the guy who runs it, that's my dad. And he asked me to stop by today. And just to check in with you, um, if do you, I'm just curious, do you guys have an employee benefits program? Oh, yeah, we do. Oh, awesome. So um, I, also, uh, you know, my other question is, is there currently a mortgage advisor, a realtor, and a home inspector um, in that package to make sure that your employees, whenever they're ready to buy or sell a house, they get the best deal because of the fact that they work here? Oh no, we don't, we don't have that yet. Hey, you know what? Um, I'm gonna take this back to my dad, and if it's okay with you, w would you be opposed to us, you know, kind of creating a, a custom plan for you, bringing it by, my dad can stop by and just show you what we created. And if you love it, awesome, you can add it to your employee package. If you don't love it, don't add it to your employee package, you know, but um, there's no risk, no cost or anything like that involved to you. We just do this as a free service uh, to local businesses in Waco because, you know, I, we're a local business in Waco and we love other local businesses here. And so we just do whatever we can to support and this is one way is to you know help you create this employee benefits package so that your employees feel like they're getting extra benefits by working working for you and and obviously you know in the end we can help them do their mortgage and refer them to our realtor partners and and be able to grow our business that way as well so yeah would you be opposed to my dad making a, a you know a plan for you and, and dropping that by and just introducing himself like they're gonna be like no that'd be that'd be fine right and so boom, I'm telling you, this has such a high success rate. If you go into local businesses, ask them about their employee package. I mean, this is the ultimate local hand-to-hand -hand combat, right? Just when I was, as I've been kind of letting that that phrase, that idea marinate in my brain, and I'm like, what does that actually mean to a loan officer? Uh, obviously, I think the live events and some of those things that you know I'm already focused on doing, um, helping loan officers with, but this idea of the employees benefits package is a great one. So obviously what you need to do is go to some referral partners or other businesses that you can bring to the table and um, 
create the biggest package you can you can create without it having to come all out of your pocket. So oftentimes what a lender does is credit back the appraisal at closing. So they're getting like a six or eight hundred dollar uh, credit from you at closing, and a, you can get a realtor to maybe either chip in one percent of their commission, or it could be just as sim simple as they buy a one year home warranty which right now probably is running like in the 550 to 850 range, depending on the size of the house. Um, you could get a home inspector to give a $50 discount. You know, there's other things, right? Depending on how big and creative you want to get, you can go out to other local businesses and you can get them to give you coupons and discounts. And now you can really stack this value where when you go to a local business and you show them what you're doing, you know, you're bringing you know, uh, several thousand dollars of value to the table. Like maybe you could get some local golf courses to give you a free round of golf for these people. Uh, some restaurants maybe do some things and a wine store gives a free bottle or these things where, I mean, you could really grow this thing to where it's five grand worth of value to you know, an employee that works at, you know, John's Tacos or whatever. You know, obviously maybe not a, maybe not a taco restaurant isn't where you want to start. You know, we want to go into the more like corporate type of environments um, and, um, but anyways, just wanted to share that strategy with you around how do you use local hand-to-hand -hand combat as a way to be the preferred lender for other small businesses in your market. And one way you can do that is what we're talking about here today, which is either you or have somebody on your team. You could hire somebody locally that's like a, you know, a pleasant 19 year old or whatever to go in and, um, and have these conversations for you just to introduce the idea, you come back with you know more of like a presentation of, of what you're actually doing, what you're offering to the, their employees, and you know it'd be cool if you had their logo on there or something like that, you know where it really felt kind of custom. Um, and but that's a really simple way that you can do local hand-to-hand -hand combat, get yourself into other local businesses because, I mean you're you're probably just like a local business, you know I mean. That's who I tend to work with and who tends to watch these videos. And so um, get out there, support other local businesses. You can get the support back and everybody can grow together. If you like this idea, share it with your friends, invite them to the channel. Make sure that you like and subscribe and hit that bell button that's around here somewhere. I don't know, maybe it's actually like down here that, so that you can get notified whenever I put out new videos, typically on Wednesdays. And we'll see you back here next time. Later.